I was gonna do a video today about the different clips that you can get, aftermarket clips you can get for the Mose and the Gaunt. I was gonna compare three different um, companies. Uh, I ordered a I ordered some from Amazon. I ordered some from Optics Planet. I have four different manufacturers aftermarket clips here. And so I started playing around with them and I realized there was very little difference between the different clips. At least um, I, have, I have seen very little difference. The important thing when you're loading Mosin the Gaunt clips is that as you load it, you load each rim because they're they're rimmed cartridges you load each rim either on top of or below consistently the next one and uh, that that gives you an ease in feeding but there's videos about that so I didn't want to rehash that and like I said there's not much difference that I can see in the aftermarket clips if you see some or if you know of one that's super high quality please let me know so instead, my mind turned toward how to carry these clips. So I dug out all the small pouches that I had, and I thought I'd see which ones were best for carrying Mosin the Gaunt ammo. First, I thought I'd look at the M4, M16, AR-15 uh, ammo pouches that come with... Uh, bandoliers that come with uh, issue military ammo and you can see that that's just going to be way too big and they're going to float around would they work in a pinch sure um, but no I don't think so so then we have here a military matter of fact Air Force um, handcuff pouch and I kind of like it because it's a fairly flat pouch and it's got two pockets in there. So that works fairly good, nice and tight. And you can get two Mosin clips, so that's 10 rounds, in a fairly flat pouch. Now, there is a problem in that for you to get the Velcro on there, you've got to get quite a bit uh, left over. For it to kind of jump around but because it's such a tight fit I'm not real concerned about that um, so that's okay I'm, I'm not unhappy with that that's 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 pretty good and frankly there's very few other things that a handcuff pouch is good for except handcuffs so then I thought I would try this uh, Molly 2 grenade pouch now it's it's a pretty almost square pouch so I thought I'd try and see how many mows and clips I could get in there now obviously we want to well let's try this again we want to go uh, alternating with our clips bullets down bullets up and you can easily get three I could probably get four in there if I wanted to here's the problem with it it snaps real good everything's great okay the problem with it is as you start using it it gets pretty rattly so I'm not so sure that's the best answer you get down to two, two um, clips yeah just not thrilled with that will it work in a pinch sure sure not terrible but I'm not, I'm not so sure and its brother, the tactical tailor version of the grenade pouch, I think it would be probably even worse because I think it's even more square. So, grenade pouches, mm, I don't know. You know, actually, the tactical tailor grenade pouch isn't that bad. You know, it, it, instead of having a snap like the USGI one, it has the Fastex buckle. Now, it's really made so that the Fastex buckle could loosen up and you carry a taller grenade. And that's great if you're using this as a grenade pouch. So it really doesn't do any good that I'm able to stretch the locking system out. 
I still want it cinched down as far as I can. But it fills up okay. And as I take them out, although it still rattles some, I just feel like I've got a little more of a positive locking system going on. So, you know... I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna throw this idea away. Uh, these aren't that easy to find for me. Uh, I could probably find a few now. And let me explain where this is all going. If you're one of my five faithful subscribers, you know that I am prepping for a fire team. Do I have, you know, four guys sitting around waiting? No. But I'm building. How do you get in there? But I'm prepping for a fire team, and what that means is I am compiling gear and weapons to outfit four men. And um, it's an experiment that I'm going to continue working on. And right now, the way I'm set up with the weapons that I have, one of those men is going to be carrying a Mosin Nagant because I have a Mosin Nagant. And therefore, that member, his box is going to be outfitted for him to carry the Mosin and Gaunt and everything that goes with it. So I need a way for that man to carry ammo on his H harness or on his Defensor Fortis, because that's what I'm arming everybody with. That's what I'm equipping everybody with. Um, but also carry uh, extra ammo. Now, of course, Mosin ammo uh, surplus comes like this. And... You can carry it like that, and for carrying it like that, that probably is not a bad way to go. But to tell you the truth, to carry it in this fashion, still in the paper boxes, you might as well just throw that in a, uh, a pouch, any pouch, or in the pack itself. If you're carrying it into any kind of uh, situation, patrolling, combat, in the defense, whatever, where you might have to use that weapon, you need to probably go ahead and have them clipped. So that's what we're doing here today. We're trying to find a way that we can put multiple clips into pouches that can be carried on deuce gear, 782 gear, H harness, whatever you want to call it, your personal body body gear, and also go on onto pouches. I mean, onto uh, sorry, onto uh, packs. Uh, each man's going to have an assault pack, and each man's going to have a uh, a larger pack. So I want this to be able to go onto an assault pack or onto his personal uh, uh, load-bearing equipment. So that's what we're doing here today. All right, so next up is a USGI compass pouch or a, a field uh, dressing kit. And these are called general purpose small pouches. This one's not bad. It, like the uh, grenade pouch, it's nice and flat and it will hold two uh, clips nicely. Now, they probably don't come out real fast, but it's a Mosin. So, that's not bad. I kind of like that. And these are very easy to find. So, I would say right now, this is probably in the front run because this patch really has nothing over it. So... Uh, I think, I think so far this is the, the best thing I've seen. Then just for fun, I th thought I'd throw in this uh, old and ripped apart shotgun pouch. Uh, you can see I've taken out the um, uh, webbing in there that held the shotgun rounds. I was using it for a radio at one point. And I thought I'd just see how well these fit. And I think they're just going to be too flippy floppy, which is a term that people use, probably. Yeah. Uh, I mean, would it work? Yeah, it would work. Frankly, if I was going to do it, I think I would sew the center up. And in that case, I think that would be pretty good. That would be nice. If you sewed that up right there, I think that would make a really good pouch. And I might do that because I no longer have the radio that fit in here. And that would be very, very good. You know, somebody might ask, well, why don't I just buy 
the World War II surplus um, pouches that the Soviets actually use for these. Well, I've seen them. I don't own any, but I've seen them. And they're heavy, and they don't lend themselves well to working with Molly gear or, or, or Alice gear. So that's why. i just not interested. Now, this is another grenade pouch, so we're not going to look at that. And this pouch, it's a tactical tailor. Not sure what it was for, but it looks like it's going to be too deep. And it might have been a compass pouch. It'd make a good compass pouch. I kind of like the, the, the locking system on this one because it's got both Velcro and this little plastic snap. Tactical Taylor doesn't make crap, I know that. But that's just that's just too wobbly. Wobbly. So you can put these in sideways, I think. No, they fall over. So I think what we've come up with is kind of a combination answer. I think I'll buy some more of these. If I see any of them, I might buy a couple of these. And I don't think I'll buy any of these, but since I've already ripped the guts out of this one and it's no good for shotgun rounds, I think I might sew that up right there and use it. So there you have it. There's my tortured video on how I'm going to carry mows and ammo in the tactical uh, mode, if you will. Hey, thanks for watching. If anybody out there has some other ideas about it, let me know. Appreciate you.